Hello again, guys. Man, I can't seem to get enough of this career mode on NASCAR Heat 2. I'm in my, um, this is race number 6 in my truck series season in, in career mode, but this is my 15th truck series race overall. I ended up signing with Brad Keselowski Racing, and rather than taking one of the 19 or 29 trucks, you can choose to drive one of your own custom trucks, or you can take one of the two rides available. So what I did was I took my custom ride, number 28, and I ended up spiffing the truck up to make it look like a Brad Kozlowski Ford. There it is, sponsored by Peak Antifreeze. And now Brad Kozlowski's got a three-truck team. I like it. You start off your career by hot seating, they call it. So you got no full-time ride and you're signing one race, one time only contract deals with small teams at first. And if you do well with them, they, um, they, they'll they keep you in mind for a full-time contract the following season. If you do super well with them, the better teams start to notice and they start to give you a one-shot deal, one one race deal opportunity to see how you do. Now that sometimes those top teams expect you to finish in the top 8 or the top 12, but if you do, they will offer you a one-year contract at the end of your at the end of your part-time hot seating season if you, if you will, your your shopping season. <laughs> and um yeah, then the following season you just sign a contract with one of the teams. Like I said, you can choose to take one of the trucks that the team is offering you or or you can take your custom truck and you can join them. And then uh, once you have a full-time truck series contract, you then can start hot seating for one race contracts in the Xfinity series while you're racing full-time in the truck series. That's what I'm in the middle of doing right now. I've raced in the, uh, the number 98 car, the number 97 car, and one other car in the Xfinity series. So I've done three Xfinity races on a part-time basis and I won my third race with fuel strategy at Charlotte. So more than likely I'll be driving the number 98 Richard Petty Motorsports Ford in the Xfinity Series next season unless uh, a, a better offer comes uh, available on the table. Basically what needs to happen is I need a good Xfinity Series team to offer me a one race deal, a hot seat deal they call it in this game, and I need to do well in that race. And if I do well in that race, then that's that's basically how you have better options for your full-time season the, the, the following season. If you do well with the, the, the bad teams and not the good teams, it's only going to be the, the underfunded teams that offer you a full-time contract. I shouldn't say bad, because all the drivers and teams, crew chiefs, spotters in the top three tiers of NASCAR and all the touring series for NASCAR, for that matter, are all very talented and smart individuals. It's just a very competitive and very expensive sport, and some teams struggle more than others to f find the funding to uh, find the horsepower. And, uh, yeah, that's just basically my short little tutorial again, a part two, if you will, for the career mode on, on NASCAR Heat 2. I wasn't really quite sure how it was going to go, but I really like the format. It's very, very realistic. you got to start off as a part-time, one-race contract type of guy and uh, work your way up from there. And I think that that's very awesome. Basically, in, uh, in the NASCAR games for the last seven or eight years, you've had to just simply start in your own car full-time in the Cup Series right away. And, I don't know, it's just not really the way things go in real life. Very rare do you see a, a, a driver with minimal experience in the other two series jump full-time into the Cup Series and, and suddenly have the sponsorship and the funding to do so. So I, I really like this career mode, and I think that NASCAR and uh, 704 Games has really done everything that they could to hand us the most realistic racing game you can possibly imagine. I compare the racing a lot to iRacing because it's it's literally just just like iRacing it seems. It's um if you turn too much, you spin out or you lose speed. If you turn too little, you you drift up the track and you lose speed. So you need to be very accurate with your steering and you need to be very gentle with the analog stick, especially if you have a loose setup because your car or your truck will will spin on you right away if if you got a loose setup. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Keep on watching the videos. We got a lot more coming. Thank you.